All right, so what's next? So moving down the line, um, back in March when COVID hit, um, I was pretty close to home. I, I had been working as a nurse for 43 years, and I just finished working at Mass General down in Revere. I just finished up and retired from mm -hmm. there. And that was in uh, November 2019. And then in March, uh, COVID hit, and I pretty much stayed in my neighborhood. And I had, so I lived near the harbor, but I never really went down there because I was basically commuting and working all the time. Right. So I never knew what went on down there. And I started taking walks down there to get images for my paintings. And um, I started seeing the work that all the guys do. And it's just ruling nonstop work. And so I made this painting called Essential Pigeon Cove. This is the first painting that I made. Um, when everybody was talking about essential workers. And I thought oh, these yeah. guys are yeah. essential workers. Very They're nice. going out to the ocean at 4 o'clock in the morning. It's dark. It's cold. They're going out there to get food for people. They're essential. And I love it. So that's what the heart represents. I wanted to do something with patriotic colors. So I, again, I used the blue gloves that I love. I love those, that color. And added oh, my heart. And then instead of uh, flags, like um, stars you'd see on the American flag. Starfish, yeah. Starfish, and this is the ocean and the sky. That's a whole novel in one painting. <laughs> but this is my love for Pigeon Cove, right mm -hmm. there, in that painting. Beautiful. Awesome. So, um, over here, um, my line in the sand was starting to work for um, moving from representational work to more abstract work. And so these two pieces here are based on the lobster traps, again, down at the harbor, with um, colors you might see in the ocean, colors you might see in the nighttime sky, oh, wow, yeah. some of the colors that the guys wear, or you know, there's the, the buoys, the lines, the traps, it's all very colorful. So that's where this color palette came from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's called um, Lobsterman's Lines. Actually, I did this painting. First, I did this one um, from a photograph. And I worked quite a bit on this. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to think about the lines, but I'm not going to look at them and do something a little more abstract. Mm -hmm. So I used one color, just this turquoise, and lightened it and darkened it. And again, I was working with the grid like a lobster trap, the grid, Amazing, the squares, yeah. and um, did that piece. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. love it, love it. So, I um, just want to show you one other piece. I'll, sure. I'll take it off the wall. It's another one of my favorite pieces in the show. Okay. And this is another um, painting of lines. They're not called ropes, they're called lines. Mm -hmm. This is called... 15 fathoms of line. And I did this after um, visiting one of the lobstermen down in their fish shacks, Dusty Kachopoulos. He was measuring out with a machine 15 fathoms of line because 90 feet mm -hmm. is pretty much the amount of space they have between traps on a trawl. I'm learning all this. I didn't know any of this before last year. But you knew year. what a fathom was. No, I didn't remember. Okay. I mean, I, it was like back in my mind. I, I couldn't remember. <laughs> okay, all right, feet, there you six go. Six feet. Terrific. So um, that's, I thought, this is so cool. He had a machine. He said instead of measuring everything out by hand and wearing mm -hmm. out his shoulders, they have a machine that they put it through, and it's like a counter. And they can count out 15 fathoms wow. of okay. line. So I just love that. I said, now where do you ever find a machine like that except down on the wharf? Yep. And that's where this came from. So you will be here um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the rest of April. Mm -hmm. And Jackie's uh, display is also here. Yes. Um, and tell me a little bit about your studio before I let you go. My studio is over in Pigeon Cove and it overlooks the harbor. Uh, it's not open to the public. It's in my home, mm -hmm. so um, I display my work in galleries and um, okay. et cetera. And um, does this have to do with Sea Arts, or did I have that messed up? I'm a member of Sea Arts. Okay, and yeah. w will you be doing more shows this summer, or is that 
to be determined. I, I'm um, a member of the Rocky Neck Cultural Center and also the experimental group with the Rockport Art Association and the um, North Shore Art Association. I'm an associate member over there, so I'll have pieces, individual pieces in those shows. Okay. Anything else we should know about Leslie Heffron and her gallery? Um, I love to paint, and I'm, I'm there quite a bit because of COVID, so people can stop, uh, can reach me okay. on, my, on my website. Yeah, and it seems to me you love to learn, too. I do. <laughs> Thank you so much.